Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Casa OS, a beautiful, lightweight, and easy to use home server operating system. It runs on top of Linux and gives you a clean, web based interface to manage your apps, storage, and more. Alright, let's dive into the installation. You can install Casa OS on any Linux system, but I'll show you the easiest method using an Ubuntu based server. If you don't know how to install an Ubuntu server, no worries check the link down below. First, open your web browser and search for Casa OS. Click the official website. Scroll down a little and look for the installation script. Click the copy button to copy the code. Now, you can use the built-in terminal on your server, but I'm going to SSH into my freshly set up Ubuntu server using PuTTY. Log into your Ubuntu server by typing in your username and password. Paste the installation script you copied earlier and hit enter to run it. This will automatically install everything you need to run Casa OS. While we're waiting why don't you do me a quick favor? Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps support the channel. Once the installation is done, your server IP will be shown on the screen. Take note of it, you'll need it. Now, open your web browser again and type in your server's IP. Create your username and password on the Casa OS login screen. Hmm, why is the background not showing up? Let's try logging out and logging back in. The background is back. Click on the App Store and you'll see a bunch of useful apps you can install with one click. Super easy. This is the account button you can change your password here. This is the settings button where you can tweak your system settings. And here's a built-in terminal if you ever need to access the Ubuntu server backend directly. That's it. Casa OS is now installed and ready to go. You can start adding apps, mounting drives, and building your own self-hosted setup. In upcoming videos, I'll show you how to install some apps, do some schedule backups, and even create a recovery USB for your Windows and Linux PC. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.